Randy's dedication to making the world a better place is self-evident to anyone who has crossed paths with him. For those of you who know Randy, Randy brings a particular zest for life and humor, even while facing death. To Randy, this is simply another adventure. It is my great honor to introduce Dylan, Logan, and Chloe's dad, Jay's husband, and my very dear friend, Dr. Randy Pausch. Make me earn it. Uh, what Indira didn't tell you is that this lecture series used to be called The Last Lecture. If you had one last lecture to give before you died, what would it be? I thought, damn, I finally nailed the venue and they renamed it. <laughs> you know, in case there's anybody who wandered in and doesn't know the backstory, my dad always taught me when there's an elephant in the room, introduce them. Uh, if you look at my CAT scans, there are approximately 10 tumors in my liver and the doctors told me three to six months of good health left. Uh, that was a month ago, so you can do the math. Um, I have some of the best doctors in the world. Uh, so that is what it is, we can't change it and we just have to decide how we're gonna to respond to that. We cannot change the cards we are dealt, just how we play the hand. Uh, if I don't seem as depressed or morose as I should be, um, sorry to disappoint you. Uh, uh, and the other thing is I am in phenomenally good health right now. I mean, it's the greatest thing of cognitive dissonance you will ever see is the fact that I am in really good shape. In fact, I'm in better shape than most of you. So anybody who wants to cry or pity me can come down and do a few of those and then you may pity me. <laughs> so what is today's talk about then? It's about my childhood dreams and how I've achieved them. I've been very fortunate that way. How I believe I've been able to enable the dreams, I've been able to enable the dreams of others. And to some degree, lessons learned. I'm a professor, there should be some lessons learned. And how you can use the stuff you hear today to achieve your dreams or enable the dreams of others. And as you get older, you may find that enabling the dreams of others thing is even more fun. But I wanted something infinitely scalable, right? Scalable to the point where millions or tens of millions of people could chase their dreams with something. And, you know, I guess that kind of a goal really does make me the Mad Hatter. <laughs> so Alice uh, is a project that we've worked on for a long, long time. It's a novel way to teach computer programming. Kids make movies and games, the head fake. Again, we're back to the head fakes. Best way to teach somebody something is to have them think they're learning something else. Right? I've done it my whole career. And the head fake here is that they're learning to program, but they just think they're making movies and video games. Uh, I, like Moses, get to see the promised land, but I won't get to set foot in it. And that's okay, because I can see it. And the vision is clear. And uh, for those of you who are wondering, well, you know, in some number of months, who should I be emailing about the Alice Project? Where's Wanda Dan? Oh, there you are. Stand up. Let them all see you. We keep what is valuable to us, what we cherish. And I've kept my letterman's jacket all these years. I used to li like wearing it in grad school. And uh, one of my friends, Jessica Hodgins, would say, why do you wear this letterman's jacket? And I looked around at all the non-athletic guys around me who were much smarter than me, and I said, because I can. <laughs> if there was ever a time I might be entitled to have the focus on me. It might be the last lecture. But no, I feel very badly that my wife didn't really get a proper birthday. And I thought it'd be very nice if 500 people. Happy birthday, dear Jay. Happy birthday to you. So today's talk was about my childhood dreams, enabling the dreams of others and some lessons learned. But did you figure out the head fake? It's not about how to achieve your dreams. It's about how to lead your life. If you lead your life the right way, the karma will take care of itself. The dreams will come to you. Have you figured out the second head fake? <laughs> Talk's not for you, it's for my kids. Thank you all, good night. Thank you.